Salutare, sunt Robert de la unsaidemuzica.ro și am pentru voi o mare, mare surpriză. De data asta am parte de un invitat special la care sigur nu vă așteptați pentru că este un artist internațional care a fost de acord să-mi dea mie astăzi un interviu exclusiv. Este vorba despre... What's up? What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. baby, how are you? Let's Let's walk. I'll show, you around, I'll show you around my place. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's noi, suntem, noi suntem aici la un shooting pe care Vedi îl face și am făcut rost de o hală foarte frumoasă unde am avut un proiect și echipa lui m-a rugat să fac rost de loc și pentru ei, așa că Vedi is now showing us his crib for today. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> How are you, man? I'm What's good, up? Man. What you doing in Romania? Well, uh, again and again and again and again. You're probably sick of me, man. Uh, I'm not. Really? <laughs> It's just like I noticed that you really love Romania. I do, I really do love Romania. I enjoy coming back here all the time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had a couple shows here and um, today I've got a photo shoot for my uh, upcoming EP. So that's going to be awesome. I've got a double EP coming out with 10 brand new songs. Wow. So uh, we're actually uh, we're shooting a, a cover for uh, the two EPs. So one's going to be... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I got one that's gonna be like a fun record or what fun EP, and the other one's gonna be more of like a deep record that fades up. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how come you chose to do the cover shoot in Romania and with the Romanian photographer? I mean like you have lots and lots of options, right? I've just I've just kind of become more comfortable as well. Um being here with uh, with Dan, he's kind of Um, done photo shoots for me in the past uh -huh. and um, you know we, we did great jobs together so we're like you know what I'll um, while I'm here why not let's just shoot some stuff and yeah, see where it goes yeah of course yeah. e un pic de vânt dar cu siguranță o să ne înțelegem deci el lucrează cu Dan Niculescu care este un fotograf român care are 20 și de acolo de ani deci înseamnă că e foarte talentat dacă Fedi e la ales I was just telling him that you chose to work with Dan him being a very young photographer and that means that he's very talented if you chose to work with there's, him right? well there's a lot of young talented um, directors photographers musicians mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's good to kind of just see what they what they have because I feel like there's a there's a fresh perspective mm -hmm. you know when you work with like younger talent so um, I'm excited to see what we come up with. And how uh, how come you worked with Dan in the first place? How did you two meet? Do you um, <laughs> damn, I don't even remember. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm trying to think how we met. Actually, no, that's right. Um, I think we met for the. I feel like we met before that, but what I really remember is the fact that I needed a photographer for um, the behind-the-scenes shooting of my video with Cat De Luna and Left Side called mm -hmm. Nobody. I shot that. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I, what I remember too. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I shot that video in Bucharest um, with Alex Joshu, and mm -hmm. I needed a photographer, so he was um, he was available, and I liked his work. Mm -hmm. Actually, I kind of. I had him on a whip. I was like, "Come on, man, get the shots, get the shots, get the shots." You know, he wasn't used to my like. I, I, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep moving. Yeah. I gotta. I need you to get like every reactive. moment. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, we've kind of learned to work with each other, and he's really talented. Yeah. So I was just out. thinking about your song "Can Let Go." What's the the only or some what what are some things that you can let go, never ever. <laughs> When you're on trips and I don't know, even when you're at home. My laptop. Yeah. Uh, my phone. Mm, what else? Or when I'm at home, mm, what can I not let go of? Maybe your sunglasses or stuff like that. No, no, I can let go of that. That's no problem. Do you want it? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, music, man. Just I need to have music. I need to, I need to have my studio somewhere. Mm -hmm. I bring it around with me wherever I go. So um, uh, I think that's one thing that I need to have on me because I'll come up with an idea and I need to just get in the studio. And I don't have mm -hmm. time to like wait for someone to tell me when it's free or whatever it is. I need to just get in there. So, yeah, yeah, when you feel the vibe. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Do you produce your music yourself or just? I no. I write. Things? I write all my all my music. Mm -hmm. um, I produce with a really talented producer from Australia. His name's Divi Poda. Mm -hmm. um, Divi, he wrote, not he wrote, I wrote, but he produced um, Laugh To You Cry. Yeah. Um, and uh, a few of my other hits as well. Um, and uh, we're actually working together alongside, uh, I'm working with, 
uh, Zaga um, from Romania. He's done mm-hmm. so some really cool stuff. I'm working with um, Willie, who's a really talented producer. He's worked for Ariana Grande, yeah. um, Kid Ink, um, and all these these great artists in America. I'm working on with him on the EP as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I've got Divi Perda, who's executive producing the album. So it's going to be... It's going to be some classic Fady records, but it's going to also be something really different and fresh. I can't wait for everybody to hear it, man. So are you planning on releasing some uh, Romanian tracks, maybe? I mean, like, produced by Romanians, not in Romanian language. <laughs> uh, yeah, produced by Romanians. The last Romanian record, not Romanian record, but Romanian produced record mm-hmm. that I had out was with DJ Salva, who was uh, Love in Dubai. Yeah, I love the track. Yeah, and then um, the track before that was Lullaby. That was produced. Um, um, it was produced by Alex Katoy and uh, yeah, yeah. And Mihai um, Rista. Rista, Rista. Yeah. yeah, from Golan. Yeah. Deci, uh, Lullaby a fost produsă de Mihai Rista care pe care voi îl știți din Golan și de uh, Cotoi, Alex Cotoi, care lucrează cu băieții de la Carla's Dream. Alex Cotoi works with Carla's Dream. Right, okay. You know the band, yes, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. You guys love them here in Romania. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah awesome. because they're cool they're and awesome, they're like yeah. fresh and they're like mysterious and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And it sure. works for the Romanian uh, audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Like millions of uh, views on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, very, very yeah. Songs, really cool. Songs. Uh, speaking about the millions of views on YouTube, you also have them. How's like seeing your track like gaining and gaining success after success? It's pretty cool, man. Like coming from Australia, especially, um, you know, uh, being an independent artist as well. I'm not really uh, signed to a major record label. So, ah, so you're an independent artist. Yeah, I've been independent. Hmm? Since very the beginning su- of my career. One. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, it means a lot to see that um, the fans really appreciate the music and, mm-hmm. and to see it just spread around on its own, just like from the love of the music and not so much of of it being such a, a strategic thing, more of an organic thing, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, for example, with uh, Can't Let Go, it was something very organic. It just kind of, it, ha- it happened the way it did, you know. I wrote the song, it was about a friend of mine who was going out with... Um, a famous singer in America, mm-hmm. which I can't really say who exactly, but um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we'll just but, uh, try but to I figure think out. Some of the fans <laughs> gonna kind of get it, but um, uh, yeah. And then um, yeah, I, originally I wrote the song for myself, but then mm-hmm. when my manager called me up and he told me about the story, I was like, wait a minute, I think I want to change this around a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I turned it into this, uh, you know, when you're in this uh, kind of relationship where you feel like yeah, it doesn't matter what happens you know there's the ups and the downs but there's something about them that you just can't let go of mm-hmm. and uh, yeah we shot the video in LA and you know it did its thing and so without the major budget it just touched like millions of fans 100% organic man right? laugh, laugh to you cry was a video that I'd done it cost maybe $150 yeah well if you ask first... me it looks like it costs that, that yeah but, uh, that, but that just shows you that it doesn't matter yeah sometimes how much money and it's the, about the, the music packaging. and about the feeling that you yes. have in the video and in the song so I think uh, people connected with it somehow mm-hmm. and uh, I mean that's just that's just how it starts man yeah How come you chose Romania to work with from all the countries you visited till now? Well, Are we all, the most talented well, people all, on earth? <laughs> well, they're very, very talented and I think it kind of happened organically. I think Romania kind of chose me in a yeah. way because Laugh Till You Cry, the success began in Romania. So Yeah, it feels like we have adopted you in yeah. some way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, And I just I felt really kind of a connection with the people here and, yeah. and the talent. And, and so whenever I get a chance, I come here and I, and I do some work and I leave. Um, I guess because I'm constantly traveling, so mm-hmm. um, yeah, and and I go back home as much as I can. Like last year, I think I, I took took me 11 months to get back to Australia. Wow! So yeah, it's been it's been more difficult every year, but but uh, you know, it's making it work. It's what you want, actually, right? Is it? No, it well, is, I it guess is. so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it definitely. Is, is it uh, hard for you to travel that much? I mean, like, does it get too hard sometimes? <laughs> Um, yeah, when you're having a bad week or bad day or, you know what I mean? Like, uh, there's been times where I've gotten really bad news before I get on stage. Mm-hmm. So I'm in my, in my hotel room just like trying to 
to, to, to sort out the situation and everything and there's no time and then you have to get on stage and put a smile on your face and just kind of like give everything and then you can't go back home to fix the problem do you yeah. know what I'm saying because you're so far away yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah sometimes do the bad situations maybe help you sometimes write a good song or something like that oh, that yeah. comes from the heart 100% 100% like with Lullaby I wrote it on tour I, mean, I was missing someone really really badly mm -hmm. and uh, you know we had the melodies done and just kind of put them put, put the song and then just started writing mm -hmm. it happens all the time yeah what's your biggest dream that hasn't been done yet <laughs> you know one thing that i've always wanted to do it's kind of random but i've always wanted to be in a bollywood film yeah well yeah. you look like a bollywood star kind oh, of you. so you, i think you can be in i just i don't know I, i i i um i like It just seems like a lot of fun, do you know uh -huh. what I mean? And I grew up listening to that kind of music with my mom and stuff. And, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I've just I've wanted to dip into acting as well, just in general. I think that's one thing that I that, that's that I haven't ticked off my bucket list yet. Mm -hmm. like yeah. I'm sure you're gonna do it. So what's up with this EP? Are you planning on releasing it like worldwide and stuff worldwide. like that, and, and also uh, independently? Uh, maybe you have. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's gonna well, be, it sounds like yeah. it's gonna be very exciting and uh, yeah. very good music. Thank you very much, Mr. Fade D, for so chatting much. with me. Thank you, it's a pleasure. For my video selfie interview, and uh, hope we'll uh, get along soon again. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed my place. I'm gonna tell them something right now. Go for it. Haideți să lăsăm pe Fade D să-și facă treaba pentru că omul a venit de fapt să facă niște poze pentru viitorul său EP pe care abia l-a așteptat. Ai înțeleg, ai înțeleg, ai înțeleg. Așa. Pe care abia l-a așteptat și noi cu sufletul la gură. Îi mulțumesc foarte tare că mi-a dat ocazia să vorbim și să ne întâlnim aici la noi în București. Iar cu voi ne vedem și data viitoare, dar nu uitați să dați subscribe jos acolo și să-mi spuneți cu cine ați mai vrea să fac interviuri noi. Pa, pa! pa, pa.